Hey Science Seekers, what's up? New episode coming at you today. Today is all about cooking. Cooking is chemistry. I love cooking. I love baking. More cooking than baking, to be honest with you. But today we are going to be making banana bread. I've never made it before, so we'll see how it happens. Uh, this is the recipe right here. It's very important you have a recipe. Remember, cooking is a lot like scientific method in the fact that you got to have your materials list, and then you have to have the right gear and all the different materials. He's got his apron on. This is his old Starbucks apron from when he used to be a barista. When I was student teaching, I used to work at the Starbucks over by um, the mall, the one outside by the California Pizza Kitchen. And still got my apron, helps me so that I don't get my clothes all dirty. And then we have all the ingredients listed here. Now we're doubling our batch, so we have double of everything. We're gonna make one loaf of bread for Bella, my daughter Belle's, no. um, <laughs> my daughter Belle's uh, grandma, and then one for our house. So. Here's all the stuff we need. We have everything except I still got to get the flour. But today we're going to learn how to um, scramble an egg. It says we need beaten eggs. A lot of people don't know how to do this. So real quick, we're going to give this a good hard hit and bring it up here. I'm going to do this with one hand because it's impressive. Pull it out. Bring it up. Let it all trickle down. Try to get no egg in there. Now, with that in mind, you're going to take a fork. And what you want to do try and do this one-handed, very hard, is you are going to try and break that yolk apart. And as you're doing that, see how I do light little strokes like this, very slow, and you start off like that and kind of beat that yolk. You want to use it and kind of brush it against the side, almost like you're stirring it, but you want to get some air in there, all right? And that gives it a little bit more frothy, right? See how it's starting to get frothy? That's a beaten egg. We're gonna to need to have four of them. So I'm gonna combine the other ones. Follow these are directions. The directions, remember, are like a procedure and in the scientific method. And at the end, you end up with a nice good treat. So if you wanna do some chemistry and get back into science, doing some good science, please find a recipe and do some cooking in your kitchen today. See you next time.